Five Industries Creating the Highest Number of Startups Today. Are you thinking of starting a business or perhaps create the next big startup? Then watch this video till the end. In this video, we'll look at five industries creating the highest number of startups today, plus a surprise bonus at the end of the video. So make sure you don't go anywhere. Welcome to After School TV. The channel dedicated to showing you how you can grow personally and in your career and how to stand out as an African in today's global market. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and notification button so you'll be notified whenever we drop a video. Let's get to it. 1. Fintech Industry The financial technology fintech industry has been creating a boss for a few years now. The industry's growth took off at an exponential rate following the update to EU's Payment Services Directive in 2018. The update not only protects consumers carrying out online transactions, but also promotes growth in the industry, thanks to open banking practices. Another effect of the update is that third parties can now access an individual's banking data, with permission from the customer, of course. It's no wonder fintech startups are coming up just about everywhere. The largest industry segment in the fintech industry is digital payments. If you're thinking of creating a fintech startup, you may want to look to digital payments, but only if you can handle the competition. 2. E-commerce industry E-commerce giants like Amazon and Alibaba have become household names. It's no wonder e-commerce is one of the fastest growing industries in the world. In 2019, sales in e-commerce across the globe came to about 3.5 trillion US dollars. Experts say this number will almost double by 2022. Most of us have gotten used to the convenience of online shopping. You can get anything you need delivered straight to your home and all it takes is a few taps on your phone. Another major advantage this industry enjoys is the fact that setting up an e-commerce store requires a minimal initial investment. All you need is a Shopify account, which you can set up in minutes, a good marketing strategy, and a means to simplify manufacturing or dropship your product. The e-commerce market is popular and highly competitive. If you're thinking of venturing into this industry, your best bet is to find a niche product and become known for that. The e-commerce industry is only going to continue growing from here. In Africa, there are still plenty of people without internet access, meaning plenty of untapped market potential. Perhaps in the nearest future, when internet access is no longer a luxury in Africa, we'll see a new set of startups popping up to capture the market. 3. E-learning industry Another industry with a high number of startups is the e-learning industry, or educational technology, edtech industry. If you're passionate about education, then this industry is just right for you. In 2018, global investment in the edtech industry reached staggering amounts of 16.8 billion US dollars. You can help thousands of students and teachers by coming up with the next disruptive idea and making it go live. Startups around the world have been coming up with some amazing projects such as AI-based learning assessment using big data to learn analytics and virtual reality learning experiences. In Africa, education is one thing that sadly governments fail to deliver and new solutions for integrated learning may just be the answer to building and improving the African education sector. 4. Health and Wellness Industry Health and wellness have always been trendy, from an increase in the number of people adopting a vegan lifestyle to the keto craze and, of course, the fitness phase. This is good for both users and entrepreneurs. The healthcare industry has a lot of opportunities for development as we are no longer limited to receiving healthcare offline. In Africa, companies like Dogspart Health are bringing telemedicine to Africans and connecting them to experts all over the globe. More people are now adopting online therapy. Thanks to the pandemic, more people are recognizing the importance of taking care of their mental health, leading to a surge in the demand for digital health services. In the first quarter of 2021, mental health startups received a historic amount of $852 million in funding. Telemedicine and digital mental health are just a few areas 
where innovation is occurring in the health industry. Several startups and even established businesses now offer executive coaching, treatments for conditions like Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD, anxiety and insomnia, and support for children and adolescents through digital services. 5. B2B Software Services Once upon a time, the business-to-business -business B2B software sector used to be a niche known only to those that were extremely tech-savvy. But thanks to the smartphone era, everyone can get access to this software. If you're looking at the B2B software sector, now may be a good time to jump in. B2B software delivers effort, labor, and time-saving solutions to us, both in our regular and professional lives. Software like Trello helps freelancers keep track of their activities. This software services make everything from ordering lunch to streamlining our workflow as easy as making a few taps on your phone. As people get more familiar with the digital sphere, the demand for more esoteric and complex solutions across various sectors rises, and along with it, the B2B software as a service SaaS industry. And that's it for the video. But before we live, here is that bonus point we promised, and it's cybersecurity. In recent years, cyber attacks have graced the news headlines time and time again. In July, about 200 businesses were hit with a major ransomware attack. Because of this constant cyber threat, the demand for cyber defense against online threats has continued to gain volume. Thanks to the Internet of Things IoT, most organizations rely on vast amounts of data. This data is usually shared internally and externally. It is because of this data sharing that cyber criminals and hacktivists can gain access to company networks. This constant state of affairs has created endless possibilities for any entrepreneur willing to be on data protection and cybersecurity as a business. Getting started as a cybersecurity outfit isn't easy. It's not a skill or service you can offer online, but you can start by offering consultancy services to small and medium scale enterprises around you. Then, as you grow and your team expands, you'll be able to do more and offer data protection to much larger companies. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Also, leave a comment, drop some feedback, and let us know what you think about this industry's.